Good afternoon, and thanks for looking at this 2006 25 RSS Outback by Keystone. This is a fantastic trailer and has treated our family well. It's currently in storage down at Fort Belvoir, uh, and we're getting ready to move to Germany, so uh, so we can't take this with us, unfortunately. So we thought maybe another family could really uh, could use it and have fun with it. Uh, the reason it's called a 25 RSS is because it's 25 feet long. I think it says 25 and 10 inches, 25 feet, 10 inches. Uh, however, it bumps out. You can see the bump out on the left there. It bumps out to 30 feet. It's a 30 foot, but all you're pulling is 25 foot, and it weighs about 5,200 pounds empty, so you can pull it with just about any, uh, you know, larger V6 or V8. It pulls really well, uh, well balanced. Um, it has uh, two slide outs, one in the side, one in the rear, and I'll show you that. And it has two bunk beds. We sleep four. It can definitely sleep six comfortably. Uh, however, it says you can go up to a maximum of eight. Uh, it has two large ta propane tanks that you see on the, on the right hand of your screen. You can also see a storage door uh, near the entrance. It has two entrances. Uh, the bunk beds are on the front, and I'll show you those in a sec. But the two entrances are great. You know, your kids may be sleeping or you may be sleeping and your kids want to exit the vehicle or uh, you want to exit the vehicle. Makes it makes it really convenient. Uh, so you so uh, it has that outdoor kitchen, which is fantastic. It's got a two burner on it plus a, uh, a water spigot. Uh, it also comes with a hose that you can, like, you know, hose off your kids before they come inside the camp camper so they don't blow it up. Uh, so it comes with uh, everything you need. It comes with the, uh, the dumped uh, hoses, it comes with the leveling hitch, it comes with the sway bar, it comes with everything you're going to need. We can even add the pots and pans uh, because we're not going to need them in Germany. So anything you need, all, all you'll have to do is add your kids and the groceries and this thing is out of here. Well maintained. Um, I do the maintenance myself in accordance with the manufacturer specs, which are all you know packaged and available for you. Uh, I just uh, lubed the axles, and the tires are less than one year old. So uh, let's take a look at some of the accoutrements that come with this. Here's the the ball hitch, the leveling bars, and uh, the anti sway bar. All comes with the uh, with the trailer itself. Let's go inside and take a look. I have uh, two bunk beds there. Here's the ladder. Uh, the bunk beds are fantastic. If you got a few kids. Uh, and what's really neat about the 25 RSS is this lower bunk bed raises up and you can put bikes in here. So if you don't have bike, uh, room, I have a truck, so we put the bikes in the back. But if you don't have room, if you have an SUV that's pulling this, uh, this is a perfect place to put your bikes. Uh, again, two bunk beds. And here's the bathroom. It has, uh, you know, your normal sink. A full shower, full stand-up shower with a, a uh, sunlight, and of course the uh, the toilet is a marine toilet, so um, you can uh, it can be used uh, either hooked up or, or not. It's got uh, 40 gallon, I want to say 40 gallon fresh tank, so plenty of water for you to do dry camping. I put two 12 volt batteries on the front of this thing which uh, allows you to go a little bit longer without actually hooking up to shore power. Here's the uh, kind of the command station. It shows you the, uh, the battery, the fresh uh, water level, the black water level, and the gray water level. It also has the water heater controls. Water heater works both uh, propane and electric. And then, of course, the water pump if you're not hooked up to, uh, to shore water. It has lots of storage room. I'm going to swing around here and show you. This is a closet with like a, almost a full-length mirror for all your hanging stuff. And uh, if you're traveling as opposed to just camping, uh, having room for your uh, clothes, having a ward, uh, a ward for your clothes is, is pretty critical. Uh, small drawer there. Another uh, uh, closet-type storage area here. It has a, a closet rack. Um, but then it's pretty deep also. You can store plenty of stuff in there. Then we walk into the kitchen. Uh, you've got the, uh, the refrigerator and freezer here. Plenty of room for at, at least a couple of weeks of camping. Uh, this runs on both propane as well as uh, 110 volt. So it's great 
uh, either way, whether you're hooked up to shore power or whether you're doing some dry camping. You can see the, uh, the pantry space here, uh, large pantry uh, cabinets with, fortunately, slide outs. Um, these things are great uh, because it's really deep. And so you can store a lot of stuff in there, but it's very easy to, to access. Okay, uh, it has carbon monoxide detector uh, for your safety. Comes with a microwave and a three top burner plus uh, a regular stove. All runs on propane. Little storage area underneath there. Uh, two sink. Um, two, uh, I'm sorry, two basin sink, and then there's storage area underneath for your pots and pans. And of course, storage area above for uh, the things that you use uh, most frequently, like your glasses and things like that. I've, we have never had any problem with anything falling out, so they're they're nice and stable. There's lots of lots of light in here. Uh, you can see that full length window there, window over the sink, uh, and of course that that second door there, which uh, you bump out. It's about six foot. It has a jackknife couch. You can sleep uh, comfortably uh, six to eight people in here. The dinette can also break down um, for sleeping. And then the queen bed, that actually pushes out the back manually on two rails. Very, very convenient um, feature which allows uh, some significant room. I'm actually standing at the back here. Significant room in this 25 RSS. It's a beautiful trailer and well maintained. I maintain it myself. Uh, there's uh, storage underneath the uh, the seats for the dinette and there's also a little bit of storage here uh, underneath the uh, the seats for uh, for some things that you don't get too often and then the water heaters there. It's 2006 but it looks like a 2012. I mean, it's really, really in good shape. So let's go outside and take a look. Oh, this is fresh tread. They're about maybe a year old, and the axles have been lubed uh, recently. They don't need to be done for a while. Here's the uh, here's the bump out. That's that queen bed I talked about. When you're camping by a lake. Uh, you just bump this thing out, and you got a great, great view here. Comes with a spare tire. Uh, comes with really all the gear that you're going to need to uh, to put this thing into operation. There's there's the uh, side slide out. Again, that's uh, that's automatic. This is pulled out manually. Uh, very simple to do, and uh, again makes a lot of room inside. Utilize yourselves in this 2006 25 RSS Outback. Good luck. Bye.